waiting just a minute or two for the audience to build before we get started on tonight's lesson the motorcycle club is not barter town so um, we're just going to uh, to take a few minutes for the audience to build and first I want to say that uh, we're very thankful that most of our brothers and sisters from the Black Sabbath Nation and other motorcycle clubs across the country are starting to get home safely uh, after their trip to the Roundup. We still have folks passing us and motorcycles. And it does your heart just great joy to see all these motorcycles rolling. Uh, much love and respect, uh, Keith uh, Oz out there. Uh, but to see all those brothers rolling on motorcycles is really a, a wonderful thing. And uh, I just hope we keep doing it. It was peaceful. The rally was peaceful. Thousands and thousands of bikers there, and all we did was had a good darn time. So uh, we, we, we keep doing this every year, and it just keeps being a blast. So um, as it happens, when I'm ever at these things, I get pulled over by lots of people, pulled to the side, and folks uh, have all kinds of questions. I've heard from so many presidents um, this time. Um, you know, I, that were asking me a lot of questions based on the videos that we've been doing and the books that we've been doing. And uh, I want everyone to be sure to uh, get your prospects this book, Prospects Bible. Uh, this has been a number one bestseller for the last two years on and off the bestseller list for Amazon. For a book in its class, Prospects Bible can be had at prospectsbible.com. Uh, that way you buy it from me personally. If you go to Amazon, you can get it. You can also get it on Kindle, Prospects Bible, uh, Prospects Bible by Johnny Bunch II. Or you can actually go in a bookstore like Bookstar, and you can order it, and they'll uh, they'll have it for you in a week or two. Uh, but uh, the quickest way is to go to ProspectsBible.com and get it from me directly. Also, my book, Prospects Bible for Women. Uh, Prospects Bible for Women, I just finished. Uh, it's the first book I've ever written for women. And that's ProspectsBibleForWomen.com. And then uh, one of the books I worked the most hardest on was the PRO's Bible, PRO. Uh, it's a, a very misunderstood title, and there's a lot that can be done with it. So I want you guys to uh, go to mcprosbible.com. And once again, all my books are available on Amazon and also Kindle. And finally, Kill Proof, which will be out in September, Surviving the Police Stop, Renegade Cops, and Angry Vigilantes with Guns. Um, and Kill Proof is designed to help young people when they get pulled over by cops stay alive. So I want to talk about a, a, something. I, I met with some CMC folks this weekend uh, at the Roundup. It was a lot of fun and people were pulling me, taking me to the side of my trailer. One thing I want to say is um, I definitely um, uh, appreciate and I'm very thankful for all of the um, uh, various people who bought books from me. Thank you so much. Um, it was just absolutely amazing. Uh, it, I think if I'd had a booth there, I'd have left that place rich. So it was really cool. Um, the other thing is, um, in talking to some of you, a lot of you people are really hurting out there in your motorcycle clubs. Um, it's almost to the point, I don't know why you're doing this uh, it causes so much you know it's causing a lot of you a lot of pain to be in a motorcycle club so I, I think it's important to get down to the basis uh, basics uh, of what you're doing and why you're doing it the motorcycle club should be a place of great peace and happiness it should be a, a place where you're having a great time and um, you're enjoying your bro club brothers and sisters and if that's not happening for you then you really need to get down to the bottom of what is or maybe do a little bit more study or something like that so that you can really get into the uh, uh, basis uh, of the protocol the, the, that you can understand the structure of this thing that we do and what really makes it happen uh, why we do what we do and an understanding of that may help you in your motorcycle club life uh, to flourish and actually have a good time. And so one of the things that I want to talk about in particular is that the motorcycle club is not barter town. 
And the reason I bring that up is uh, I talked to a lot of people this weekend that are kind of older, like in their 50s maybe, late 40s, that are just now joining motorcycle clubs for the first time. And uh, as they're joining these motorcycle clubs for the first time, they're, they're coming from all these different organizations. Like they're either coming from the Shriners or, or, or Masons or, or they're coming from uh, fraternities or they're coming from prison or they're coming from the streets. And there's all these different protocols out there for behavior. Uh, and they're bringing those ideas into the MC. And so they're coming to the MC with great expectations based on the lives they live and they're finding themselves um, dissatisfied and, and not happy with what's going on. And, and they're very angry. Uh, and I talked to a brother this weekend that was, that was very you know, uh, upset. And one of the things he said was, um, he said some things like, I give, but they don't give back. Uh, I might buy beer and drinks or something like that and they'll drink my stuff up but nobody will offer me money and in my frat the brothers always offered a couple dollars uh, if I was uh, if I if I bought this that or the other they would uh, offer a couple dollars they would do this they would do that they would reciprocate me for what I've done and uh, nobody is uh, is doing that now uh, when I come here they're using me up or something like that and I, I thought it was um, interesting that um, this, 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 this young man felt like he wasn't giving, getting what he was giving. And he was keeping a very close track on what he was giving. When he, when he bought drinks, he, he was marking that down. When he, when he, um, he, he, he was taking everything that he did and he was trying to equate it to, I'm not getting back exactly what I put in. And what I thought that was interesting about that was, um, he based this on all of his uh, life experiences with the things that he's done prior. And it was almost like a quid pro quo. I give to you and you give back to me and if you're not doing that, you're not an MC and I don't understand why you guys aren't an MC, and I, I thought to myself, you know, being in a motorcycle club um, is not barter town. It's not I give, you give. It's um, the MC is bigger than that. The MC requires, you know, I, I like, and this is kind of corny, but I love it. I, I like to go back to, to President Kennedy. Ask not what your country can do for you, but rather what you can do for your country. If you really care about the MC, the greater MC, the the fact that you want your MC to grow, you want your MC to be big, you want your MC to be powerful, then you you know it's kind of like Christianity. You don't, uh, or any kind of religion. Like you don't you don't give. Uh, you give because it's good to give. You give because it's right to give. You give because your heart knows that you're giving the right thing. My mother used to always say, never give to people because you expect something in return. Because people are not grateful. You always give, first of all, give what you can afford to give, and give because it's in your heart to give. She used to also say, never loan anyone any money that you can't afford to lose. Because if you lose that money that you can't afford to lose, you may lose a friendship. And losing a friendship over money is a terrible thing. So if I have to loan you money, I just normally give it to you. And if I get it back, I'm happy. But if I don't get it back, I'm okay with it. So it's not this quid pro quo. I give to my motorcycle club because it makes me feel good to make the brothers and sisters of the MC and the whole MC grow. To make the MC big, to make the MC bad, to make the MC better. I ride my motorcycle because I love my motorcycle and I love being on it. Not because I want the folks back there to reward me for riding my motorcycle and think I'm so great. I ride my motorcycle because it's from the heart. 
and when my brothers ride me with me is because we love one another not because we want the set to think we're so great i want to hang out with the brothers and do what we like to do on two wheels together so my my uh, high council president has traveled extensively this year going to our chapters all across the country i'm talking about thousands and thousands of dollars he spent to go across the country on his motorcycle and attend these biker events that that we're hosting in the Black Sabbath, uh, there is no dollar amount uh, that that he has ever come back to the club. I've ridden blah 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 blah, but I haven't gotten anything back. It's not Barter Town. If you don't want to give it, keep it to your damn self. I don't want to hear about what you've done for the club and what you think the club owes you as a result. You give to the MC to make the MC better. After it's said and done and you're gone, if you have left a legacy within the MC, your name will be remembered and perhaps we'll exalt you. But you don't get something every time you put out something except for the knowledge that you made the MC better. There's no way I could ever get back the money I've spent on traveling across country. Uh, I, I had one year that was over 20 grand traveling for the Black Sabbath Nation. I ain't gonna get that back. I built websites, I, I fed people, I've loaned money, I've taken my trailer and gone across town and picked up brothers. Um, I've had brothers drive from Atlanta to Little Rock, Arkansas, pick my wrecked motorcycle up and drive all the way back home after working a double and gone back to work the next day. He doesn't get that back. He did it because there was a brother in need. It's not barter town. You might not get it back at all. But what you get back is the knowledge that you took an organization and you took the people of that organization and you made it greater. So many of us are in love with the patch on the front of our shirt. More in love with that patch than the one on the back of our of our cut. We're more in love with the president, uh, road captain, uh, national president, sergeant at arms, than we are with the word Black Sabbath Motorcycle Club on our back or whatever yours may be so when you love your status more than your patch that's when we start hearing this kind of garbage I, uh, I, I did I've done so much you know what I'm gonna say this and it's probably gonna hurt your feelings but you haven't done enough if you have more to give let's have it let's have it all I want more give until it hurts and then give some more love one another love the brothers and sisters of your MC you cannot love the patch if you don't love the people that wear the patch so you going around hating on your brothers and sisters you don't love us you don't love the patch you love yourself you love how great you look when you're in the patch you love that you can get into parties for free that's what you love because if you love us we won't hear how much you've damn given all we'll hear is that you can't wait to give some more. And some more. And some more. You can't wait to teach somebody how to ride a motorcycle. You can't wait to go pick up one of your brothers or sisters that's broken down on the side of the road. You can't wait till the phone call calls comes that that uh, my fiance left me and I'm broken hearted. Man, I can remember uh, calling my brother over and over and again the same story every time he called me what's up man the girl I lost uh, and you can't wait to just hear it oh man that's terrible you gotta get over that but I'll be here on the phone for you tomorrow so we can talk about the same damn thing same bad time same bad channel that's what you can't wait for you can't wait to serve we are servants of the MC as a national president of the Black Sabbath Nation, I serve my members. I am their servant. They tell me what to do, not the other way around. We operate by the vote. They vote, and then I use my powers and vested in me by the nation to make their vote happen. That's the way it works.
not the other way around. So all I can do is give and serve and give and serve and serve and serve as long as I'm competent to do so. And when I'm not competent to do so, I move on. So the MC is not barter town. It's not quid pro quo. It's not I give and I get. What you should get is some satisfaction from knowing that they would have your sorry ass as a member and that you would work every day to be a better member, the best member you can be. And it's an ongoing process of learning, living, and loving the MC Nation. And then if you can do that, if you can serve, and you can do an excellent job of serving to the best of your ability, maybe you did deserve our friendship. The MC is a family you can choose. And you can choose to be a part-time member or a hobbyist or you can choose to be a servant, someone who makes things better for the people around you and their life. <sighs> Al Matthew says it's like Star Trek Borg. It's a collective. The whole is greater than the sum. I love it. We should work hard to make the MC better as a whole than it ever would be apart. That's called a symbiotic relationship. When two things together are bigger and better than they could ever be separately. Um, but, but the motorcycle club is kind of a little bit more like a parasite, right? Because it can suck everything out of you and you might not be able to see the benefit of what you're getting until a little bit later on down the road. I am satisfied to see the Black Sabbath Nation in a better situation than it was when I came to it. And if I can say that I did that, I'm good with that. So think service, people. God asks us to love one another. And I ask you to love the brothers and sisters of your MC. How, they will know who you are if you show them your love. People can tell when folks love their MC. They screaming it, they shout it, they're wearing it on everything, they got necklaces, they got t-shirts, they even name their dogs. Black Sabbath Motorcycle Club dog. Not that this, this is this dog's name. But I'm just saying, you know when people love their club, and you know when people don't. You know, when they talk about their club out in public, you've seen it. Oh, those people, blah, they're so messed up. You know, you've seen them. They're not organized. They don't... Mm. Serve, 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 serve. It's not I, I, I. It's not me, me, me. It's we, ours, us. It's the collective. All right. That's my soapbox for this evening. And uh, if you have any questions, holler at me. Don't forget my books, Prospects Bible. Prospects Bible for Women. Motorcycle Club public relations officers Bible and kill proof coming out in September that you can pre-order I hope you guys had a good time at the roundup unfortunately we're on the side of the road here waiting for the tow truck to come get uh, big Meech's RV which has got a blown engine and uh, that really sucks but hey God is still with us and we're still having a good time we're still sitting in air conditioning and we're loving every second of it and um, this is a blessing and I'm here sitting on the side of the road uh, when I could be home on my Sunday evening enjoying myself but I'm sitting here to make sure that my brother and his family get home because I'm here to serve them and if I was broke down they'd be here to serve me and they don't want to hear a damn thing about what I've done for them and I damn sure don't want to hear what they've done for me we would because we wear the same patch and we love each other and we would do this for any biker on the side of the road get skinny